Environment pollution is a matter of fact of utmost importance for women and men alike. Pollution in the air, pollution in water and the pesticides and other environmental pollutions that enter into our food seem to be affecting us in a bad way. Now these pollutants not only affect our general health, they seem to be affecting the productive health both men and women. Let's take up one by one. Suppose we are talking about air pollution. Now, air pollution, especially in urban cities and metros, is a highlight across our headlines in the newspapers. Now, of particular regard, we can consider Delhi is air pollution where the air quality has gone to really poor levels. Now, how does this affect us? Now, air pollutants not only have particulate matter, they have hydrocarbons, they have oxides in them, they have benzene, they have so many other chemicals within them. And when a person reads these things, it not only goes into the lung, but enters into the bloodstream. Now, these chemicals are known to affect the reproductive organs in ways that we can only imagine. These pollutants, when inhaled, enter the bloodstream and act as endocrine disruptors, which means they do affect our hormone levels. In women, if we have to talk in particular, environmental pollutants, especially that are sourced from air seem to be affecting the menstrual rhythm. They lead to menstrual irregularities. They are known to be associated with polycystic ovarian syndrome and also to some extent with premature ovarian insufficiency. And these are the reasons why we see more and more cases of polycystic ovarian syndrome nowadays. We are also coming up across more and more menstrual irregularities in women nowadays. Now, not only menstrual health in women, they are also known to affect pregnancy. Environmental pollutions, especially that are coming from the air, seem to be affecting and causing birth defects in babies. They seem to be affecting the the placental function that is the placenta is the organ that helps in passing the nutrients from the mother to the baby so carbon monoxide especially found in air pollutants can affect and cause blood flow defects to the placenta leading to growth restrictions they also can lead to developmental defects in the baby and also delayed milestones in the eventual development of the baby it's important to recognize that air pollutants do cause all these abnormalities in pregnancy. Air pollution can also affect men. It is known that heavy metals can lead to abnormalities in sperm motility and semen parameters and they eventually over a long period of time when exposed to air pollutants over years or decades can lead to male infertility and reduced testosterone levels. So heavy metals in air pollutants are known to be the reason for these abnormalities in men. So it's important to acknowledge, recognize and be aware of the effects of these air pollutants and take measures to limit their exposure. There are a few things that that a person can adopt, especially things like wearing a mask. Wearing a N95 mask helps in limiting exposure to these air pollutants. It's important that if a person is visiting areas wherein the pollution is known to be high, to wear masks. It's important for a person to be aware of the air quality index. Air quality index is a measure of air quality in most of the urban cities. The Central Pollution Control Board of India regularly puts out information on this. So it's important to know when the pollution is at its peak and avoid outdoor activities or avoid going out completely during that time. So wearing N95 masks, making sure that you avoid air pollution by not visiting places that are high in pollution. How do we reduce air pollutants at home? You could consider making sure that you ventilate the home during the time when the pollution outside is at minimum, especially early mornings. Early mornings, the air seems to be more clearer. So making sure the windows are open during that time of the day is the best way to have good air inside home. You could also invest in good plants at home because plants bring in a lot of oxygen. At the same time, they purify the air. And last but not the least, you could consider investing in a air purifier. Air purifiers which come with HEPA filters actually purify the air by removing all the air pollutants within the air. So this might help in reducing the exposure of individuals to these air pollutants. It's also important that one can consider taking up daily supplements of antioxidants. These air pollutants, what they do is they release something called as free oxygen species within the body. So these free oxygen radicals tend to have effects on the gametes, both egg in women and sperm in the man. The toxins in the environment and the particular matter that we inhale from the environment are known to cause reactive oxygen species in the body or ROS and ROS is the principal cause of damage of eggs and sperms. Now reducing ROS is by consuming antioxidants. Now antioxidants are found in natural ingredients like fruits, especially citrus fruits are very rich in antioxidants. So consuming citrus fruits or taking antioxidants in the form of supplements will help in reducing ROS and eventually any damage to the eggs or sperms. So that is one of the important ways of reducing the effects of air pollution. Water pollution is also one of the important contributors of 
the effects of pollution at present and water pollution also seems to be affecting the reproductive health both in men and women now starting from the industrial waste that gets into our river bodies to the farming chemicals that get into the water bodies in the villages all these things seem to be affecting our reproductive health especially heavy metals like lead and mercury lead when found in heavy in more than required amounts in water can lead to disruption of the female reproductive system and also affect the sperm motility whereas mercury that also can be found in most of the industrial waste can actually lead to abnormalities in the sperm lead to dna fragmentation and eventually male infertility so finding or rather higher levels of these chemicals in the water is a major cause of problems for reproductive health the other factor that actually is known to affect female and male infertility is something called as edcs or endocrine disrupting chemicals now endocrine disrupting chemicals examples of some of them are bpas and phthalates now these things are found not only in pesticides but also in some of the plastics now when they pollute the water body and if it is consumed by men and women they behave like estrogen and uh, testosterone in men and then lead to hormonal disturbances eventually leading to conditions like polycystic ovaries or abnormal sperm function later they're on leading to infertility so it's important that we recognize acknowledge the presence of these things in our water bodies so prevention would include first to know what kind of water you're drinking so it's important that the water quality has to be checked on a regular basis to see if there are contaminants in it it's important that we use purifiers water purifiers especially some of the ro systems are very good in knowing some of these pollutants it's also important that when you're using vegetables you rinse it well right so most of these veggies are coming from areas where they have been farmed where a lot of pesticides are used so getting rid of these pesticides over the vegetables is a very important factor that one needs to consider in their day to day routine one other thing that we can do is try and source organically grown vegetables and nowadays we have plenty of companies which are doing very sustainable and uh, eco friendly farming it's important to recognize and promote such companies such farmers and help in making sure that we build a good environment with respect to our water and food so sourcing such kind of veggies making sure that you purify the water checking having a regular check on the water quality helps in identifying recognizing and removing such pollutants from your day to day routine